Welcome to your inspirational astrology Gemini forecast for April 2013. I'm astrologer David Palmer here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, welcome to April 2013, Gemini. This has been a really powerful year for you coming into this ever since June of 2012. You know, you have really been expanding yourself. This has been Jupiter in your sign. I'm sure you've really felt the energy for the last year really putting you in places you never thought you'd be, right? And becoming a person you might not have ever thought you'd be, even though what's funny is I guarantee you, you always knew it at the back of your mind when you were younger, especially even look back eight years ago. You know, this is really starting to see that from 2004, you know, a lot of this energy is really showing you of who you really always thought you'd be. But April is all about making sure you have your right friendships in order, making sure you're finding how to be this new person and most importantly, connect to the right groups. Do something in the world with this persona, right? That's really what it's about. Do you have the right circle? Where are you in the world? Where do you fit in in this persona? That is really where a lot of this power is here in April. The first month, the first uh, week of April is all about this. Really charging forward, right? Finding the right friends, finding the right circles, finding, you know, your uniqueness. And this will help you understand how to expand and become the new person that you've been becoming. There's been a lot of energy in career that is wrapping up for you. Really finding your legacy, your destiny, knowing where you're gonna take your persona and become the best and reach your goals with it. That's because Mercury did a big retrograde and it is finishing it all up in Pisces up until April 13th. So the first couple weeks, start to see the truth. Start to see what happened in the last month and a half. What makes you feel the best? What makes you feel the most spiritually connected? What makes you feel like it's the most flowy? If there's complications and problems in your career, that's showing where not to go. The place where it comes easy and it feels great, that's where to go. Really good news though. More amazing stuff happening. April 10th, a new moon happening in your big 11th house. This is gonna be so powerful for you to really courageously, you know, start to, I feel, understand and feel your place in the world. A lot of good things are gonna happen this first week of April for you, but I really believe by the 10th, you will rocket ship yourself in knowing, sending out to the universe what you're gonna do with this powerful energy, what you're gonna do with your great place in the world. Then April 13th, Mercury moves into Aries, so bam, again, more of just finishing up, knowing your place with career, and then starting to communicate and really understand more so than ever, your place in the world. Really start to identify, since you are a Mercury ruled sign, I really believe the 13th is a powerful day for you to start to see things more clearly. Especially with your friendships. I'd really pay attention to that. Who are the friends in your life? The universe is putting a lot of heavy energy to see that you'll become the right person in your life. The strength to go where you need to go if you have the right circle around you. But. Pluto goes retrograde on April 13th. A really deep review now on trust. You know, a lot of this with your friendships, with yourself, with also what's going on maybe in your health or your lifestyle is that you gotta trust. You know, a lot of this is opening up to trust. A lot of this is opening up to finding your deep, true desire, really expanding and changing even your sex. So look at sexuality, look at your intense energy, look at like what is the things that you wanna connect with. There's an obsession of wanting to be so intimate. There's also an obsession of wanting to push away from things as well and put up walls. Are the walls getting in between you with the right friends? Are you becoming really closely intimate? Which is where the work is, is how well are you intimate with people? Really pay attention to that, because it will be in review for six months, but April 13th, really pay attention to that day. You will feel a big shift, and I guarantee you it'll be a mark on the calendar that you can look back at it in your life and go, wow, this really is something crazy here. All right, Gemini, also 15th of April, Venus coming into Taurus really gonna move things different for you. Coming more into the spiritual energy, you know, Venus is really gonna show you to really see some values in spirit, learn to go with the flow. This is not a good time, I would say, to really just go out there and spend a bunch of money on things. I would really spend things that make you feel more comfortable, make you feel like more spirit. This is great for you to really start to spiritually see the value in yourself though. Really start to see that you are such an amazing person. You've spent a long time you know, we had all that big Taurus energy in 2012 and in 2011 that taught you a lot of what holds you back in your life. And this is really to make sure that you are clear on what are the values that have been holding you back. But most importantly, what are the values that make you feel more spiritual and more people as well, making sure that you're aligned with 
really spiritual partnerships. So starting halfway through the month, you know, all these new friends you had will get kind of tested if they really honor your values and if they honor your values of spirit most well because you make the most money when you're actually in a spiritual place. No BS. Check that out deep in your life. Also, April 19th, the sun comes into Taurus and moves into your 12th, so things are really going to change and slow down a little bit and really force you to get ready because your birthday's around the corner. But when the sun comes into Taurus, this is time to really light up the last year and start to see that you are ending the last year and getting ready for your birthday and starting to see all the issues that have been holding you back from becoming the person you want or making you feel worthwhile in your life. It's time for you to see that it's time for you to connect with your true soul now and get ready to align with this soul because there's a huge launch coming in May for you. And you know the big full moon eclipse which is going to happen in your 12th and 6th house which is going to light up how the problems in your life right now are from what's happening in your spiritual self. You not connecting to spirit may be enough. You may be seeing that you have an alcohol issue or things that are coming in between it. What are the things that are holding you back from getting the life that you really are frustrated over when it can't be in such, you know, specific details of how you want it? You know, it's almost like life needs to go like a bicycle ride. And if it's not working that way and it feels like you can't move it and it's like going uphill and it hurts, there are spiritual issues. There are things that are holding you back and you will start to become clear near the end of this month. So use the beginning of this month to be the fire because it slows down and it really wants Tauruses to take a, a very deep look into their souls and get ready for a big launch in May. And it can be a little frustrating, you know, especially because you guys are so go, 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 and then Pluto's retrograding and we do have this Pluto Uranus square which shows make sure if you want to go and connect with your place in the world that it's going to take a deep intimacy and trust. You need to let go of your old trust issues and not be afraid to be 100% intimate with your friendships and with the world. So a lot to think about because you are Gemini and I know you guys are going to do great. Check out my website inclusiveastrology.com for a one-on-one -on -one reading with me and if you ever want any questions email me david at david-palmer.com. You can also check out my website david-palmer.com if you want to book a reading or check out all my astrology videos. I'll see you guys next month.